Be a Gurich. And well, it's not quite Easter, but it will be tomorrow. So happy Easter in advance, in case I don't do a video then. Behind me is a nice table. We'll get to a reason why it's there in about five minutes or so. Yesterday, Mr. Webb did a lovely video informing us of criminality in Denmark. While he, when he did that, he informed us of the following facts. Countries which did not have an empire in places like Ireland and Denmark. Well, Ireland, you're going to get into a debate about whether it did or did not have an empire because it was part of the UK. And it's going to become an involved and, and very heavy debate with people taking both sides of that. With Denmark, we'll come back to that. Hold my beer or my cup of coffee in my case. And we'll be coming back to this table as well. But this table, before I go on to it later, let's read out this. London, I ought to say this, has nothing at all to do with ethnicity or race. The chief culprits are, as in neighbouring Sweden, Albanian, many of them from Kosovo. In the description of this video, I give a link to this quotation. I also give a link to a graph showing he was responsible for violent crime in Denmark between 2010 and 2022, broken down by the national origin perpetrators. We see Kuwaitis, Albanians and various other nationalities ranked in the number of violent crimes. Remember that. Keep that in mind. Particularly keep in mind Simon's mentioning of Kuwaitis and Albanians. Well, before we go on, let's share some bits. Firstly, the idea Denmark didn't have an empire. Well, OK, Denmark didn't have anything like the British Empire. It was never so huge. But it did have plenty of overseas colonies, Simon, scattered all over the world, um, over Africa, Asia, Europe and North America. OK, it wasn't a world-beating power, but it wasn't exactly tiny either. Here's a map of all the territories at one point owned by Denmark or Norway. Not exactly so tiny as you might think, are they? And again, no research. Again, the stunning history uh, historian who told us that British Rail is still working and who can't tell the difference between Dominica and the Dominican Republic strikes again. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Imagine this bloke if he'd become a history teacher. It would be quite hilarious. In any case, a quick overview of some of Denmark's um, many colonies, the Danish Gold Coast. We'll flick through some of them. I'm not intending to do all of them. We'd be here for quite a bit on that. You can see a list of them down there, Fort Friedensburg. And my, I don't speak <laughs> Dutch, so some of this pronunciation is going to be awful. Fort Christianborg, Fort Friedersburg, Fort William, Asia, Danish India, India, Serampore. And Serampore is reasonably famous because it also intersects with British history, mainly because it was sold to Britain, as it notes in 1845. The Nicobar Islands, North America, Danish West Indies. Now, Let's get back to that table. Remember Simon said it mentioned Albanians and Kuwaitis? I'm going to enlarge the table and go down it one by one. It's got Kuwaitis, yes. But at no point will you find Albanians mentioned on this table anywhere. You can read it all day, back and forth, up and down, and you won't find them. Let's do it. Kuwait, Tunisia. Lebanon, Somalia, Jordan, Uganda, Morocco, Iraq, Algeria, Yugoslavia, Federal Republic, Ethiopia, Serbia, Montenegro, Egypt, Iran, Afghanistan, Kenya, Yugoslavia, Turkey, Syria, Ghana, Chile, Tanzania, Pakistan, Israel. Oh, look, Simon, the Israelis are doing quite a bit of the crime, it would appear in up there in Denmark. Naughty Israelis, you'll have to get them out of there. Right, sun, sun mate. Or perhaps it's just the fact that pe people are people and it says nothing more than some people have committed crime and doesn't lead to sweeping generalisations about a whole group of people. Myanmar, or as it was once called, Burma, 
Bosnia and Herzegovina, Nigeria, Czechoslovakia, Sri Lanka, Republic of North Macedonia, Soviet Union. I presume they mean people who were born in the Soviet Union prior to its dissolution. South Africa, Croatia, Brazil, Russia. Yeah, they definitely do, considering they've divided it that way. Vietnam, Iceland, Poland, Thailand, Latvia, Lithuania, Denmark, Ireland, Romania. Yeah, I definitely have to get the Irish out of there. Naughty paddies running around in, in, there in Denmark causing problems. Probably throwing pints of Guinness off the window and doing all sorts of prob- naughty things. Bulgaria, Finland, F- France, United Kingdom. Oh, oh, look, the Irish are a bit more naughty than the U- people from the United Kingdom. Disgraceful. Portugal, Sweden, Norway, Estonia, Spain, Switzerland, Netherlands, Hungary, Greece, China, Italy, Germany, Indonesia, Can- Canada, Belgium. The Belgians seem fairly well behaved, at me. not doing anything much naughty. Neither are the Philippines or the Ukrainians. Nor the Indians, or the Argentinians, or the Austrians, or the Australians, nor the people from the United States of America and Japan. But the Albanians seem to have gone for a total burden. They've gone away from here. So where are all these Albanians who are mentioning Simon? They don't appear on here. Perhaps they've taken a, a, a British Rail train back to 1997.